Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Adam. Uh, just going to bring you a vinyasa flow outside today. So grab your mats, put some music on if you want, and uh, we'll start in a child's pose. So come on to the back of the mat, toes draw together, knees start to open up wide, and then we'll start to reach the arms forward. Now, if child's pose doesn't feel good for your practice this early on, you could take a, an embryo pose where you bring the knees and ankles together and reach the arms down beside you, or just some other kind of comfortable starting pose. So no right, no wrong. Feel out your practice. And then try to let this child's pose be pretty passive. So let your elbows rest down if they can reach. Let your hips rest back towards your heels. And let your forehead come down towards the ground. And feel the comfort of your mat supporting your body. And with that knowledge of comfort, let's exhale all the air out of the body. And let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Big exhale. One more like that. Big breath in. Exhale. All right, when you're ready, inhale, come up to all fours. Find your way to a neutral spine. You can stack shoulders on top of the wrists. They can be a little farther behind the wrists if you want. And then we're just going to rock the weight side to side. So transferring weight from one arm to the next arm, from one hand to the next hand. Maybe start to make some circles with the shoulders over the wrists in one direction. Just take some time here for you. This is your freedom of movement here. So anything that feels good for you, for your practice. Maybe check some boxes here, figure out how the body's feeling today. Let's got more breaths here. Maybe bring the shoulders a little farther past the wrist, squeeze the fingertips, start to press to the heel of the hands. And slowly come back. And we'll do that one more time. Come forward. Shoulders past the wrist. Squeeze the fingertips. Press through the heel of the hands. And gently draw the hips back. All right. Now draw the knees together. Going to stretch the right leg behind us and press the right toes into the mat. So feel that big calf stretch. Press through that back heel. Engage through the right leg. Start to feel the openness in the right calf. Now keep that pressure back with the right heel, square through the hips, press through the right hand, and then extend your left arm forward. Fingertips reach forward, left thumb is facing towards the ceiling. So we're still pressing back through that right heel and now reaching forward through the left hand. So you got a lot of length going on through the body. Make those left fingers active. Feel your right shoulder start to press back. So all the way from the base of that right hand, pull the right shoulder back, press through the right heel, and then lengthen your left arm. Take two more breaths here, reach through the left fingertips, Now bring your left hand back down to the mat and start to shift the weight forward. Bring your right foot to the outside of the right thumb or right pinky finger, lizard pose. And we'll stay up on the hands here. Rock a little side to side. Creating some movement into the hips. And be pretty fluid here. So whatever feels good for you, no right or wrong. And stay with your breath. It's about four more seconds here. Little rocking side to side. Now one hand at a time, let's reach the right hand forward. So right fingers press into the mat and then the left arm reaches forward. All right, so we're gonna extend our torso in this lizard pose and also give our, our hips a little bit more ability to get sink a little deeper. All right, so as you're reaching the fingertips farther forward in front, try to bring the gaze forward. All right, about three more breaths here. Press into the fingertips. I feel the hips start to press back, sink the chest down. One more breath. And then one hand at a time, just like we came in, slowly walk our hands back. Left hand plants, right arm reaches high, gentle twist. Reach firmly through those right fingertips. Press through the left heel of the hand. Start to feel the chest open up. And then if you want a little more, squeeze your right shoulder blade in towards your center spine and rotate your chest open towards the ceiling. Still sinking deep into your hips. Gaze can be up or down. About three more breaths. You're actively reaching up so you feel that expansiveness through the chest and slowly opening. And then return right hand back down to the mat. Press into the both hands. Right knee meets the left. And then back into your all fours. Let's rock a little side to side. All right, second side. Pause here in the center. 
Bring the knees together, left foot starts to extend back, and then the left toes press into the mat. We're gonna take a few breaths here just to feel that calf stretch. And start to press firmly through the ball of the foot and feel that left heel reach back. Then also feel the length in that left side. Now keeping that left, uh, that left side long, right arm starts to reach farther in front of us. Bicep hugging toward the ear, right thumb forward toward the ceiling. Now keeping that pressure back in the left heel, still reaching forward with the right arm. Full length of the body. Now pressing into your left hand, pull your left shoulder back, see if you can get a little more length out of that right side. Reach actively through your fingertips. Long spine, two more breaths, press through your left ball of the foot. And then right hand releases down. Both hands in the mat, step your left foot to the outside of your left pinky finger, lizard pose. You're gonna stay up on the hands, adjust your stance as needed. And then we'll find that little rock side to side. It's about 30 seconds here. So time to find movement into your hips. See how everything's feeling. And then no right or wrong here. Whatever feels good, be as fluid as you want to. Move through the hips, move through the shoulders. Make some circles. 10 more seconds here. All right, now if you're finding movement, pause in center first, and then we'll extend the left fingers forward, and then the right fingers come forward. So we're coming to that long lizard lunge. So with the torso long, gaze is forward. Start to sink the chest down, but keep the gaze forward. Pull your right hip back, start to let your right hip sink down. About three more breaths here. Try to stay long through the torso. Left hip back, right hip forward and down. Two more breaths. All right, the one hand at a time, just like we came in. Walk our hands back. Right hand plants, gentle twist. Left arm reaches high. So feel that openness in, in the initial expansion of the chest. Then press firmly through that right hand. Let your left arm reach up. Open the chest towards the ceiling. And as you're opening up the chest, squeeze your left shoulder blade in towards your spine to see if you can help that openness in the chest a bit. Gaze up or down, two more breaths. Inhale. And then that left hand finds the mat. Both hands plant firmly in the mat. Bring your left knee back to your right knee. And then we'll take two rounds of cats and cows. So pressing fingertips in the mat, inhale, bring the head up, tail up, drop the belly, lift the chest. And on your exhale, head and tail curl under. Press your upper back towards the ceiling. One more time like that. Inhale, head up, tail up, full expansion. And exhale, head and tail curl under. All right, back to your neutral spine. Curl the toes. Slowly lift the hips. Start to press into your downward dog. You can keep your knees bent as long as you need to, pressing your hips up and back, especially if your hamstrings are really tight or you have any tension in your lower back. And then from your downward dog, straighten your legs as best you can. And then we'll start to pedal the feet out left and right. A little bit of movement side to side. Hands about shoulder width apart. And then start to put some pressure into your fingertips. So you're not taking all this into the bottom of the hand. You have some activeness in your fingertips. Now stepping the feet together. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Nice and long through that right leg. Even maybe take a little bend to your left knee so you can square your hips and get a little more length out of that right leg. Now keeping that length in your right side, try to straighten your left leg a little more. Big breath in. On the exhale, knee to nose. Round your chin into your chest, navel into spine. Bring your knee a little bit closer into the chest. Just flex the toes, step between the hands, drop your back knee, Chandrasana, crescent moon. Inhale, arms high. And exhale, sink into your hips. Now take some time here. Feel this left hip flexor start to open up. Square your left hip by pushing your left hip forward. Now turn your palms to face forward. Ball up the fists. And squeeze your elbows down your back. Feel your shoulder blades engage. And take this into a little back bend. Opening through the chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Two more breaths. Keep that left hip tracking forward. Next inhale, both arms come high. Palms meet above the head, hands in a heart center. We'll take a gentle twist. Left hand or left elbow hooks the outside of your right knee. Now both elbows are stacked, palms are pressing into one another. Then we can bring the gaze over your right shoulder. 
Just a nice twist here. Three more breaths. Try to stay long from the tailbone through the crown of the head on the inhales, and then stay long through the twist on the exhales. One more breath. Now slowly lift as we release both arms high. And then Arda Hanuman half split, straighten this front leg, hands framing the right foot. Now we'll take the first few rounds of breath here just as our standard Arda Hanuman half splits. Digging right heel into the mat, finding length through this right leg on the inhale, and then sinking the hips on the exhale. Really focusing on the hamstrings. Now if you want to move into to a twist here, plant your left hand, and then on the inhale, we're going to pull that right hip back and reach the right arm towards the ceiling. So feel that activeness in the IT band on the right side. Pulling right hip back. Opening to the chest. One more breath. And then right hand comes down to the mat, bending the right knee. Plant both hands, curl left toes, inhale right leg lifts high. Bend the knee, let's open up half scorpion. And then take a few breaths here. You can round through the knee, round through the ankle. It's whatever your body's calling for today. Try to keep the right shoulder down and back. And then releasing right foot down, downward dog. Walk it out. Big breath in. Exhale. Feet together, inhale, left leg lifts. And on the exhale, knee to nose, holding here. Tuck chin into the chest, navel into spine. Bring your knee closer and towards your chin. Press into the palms of the hands. Flex the toes, step between the hands, drop the back knee. Crescent moon, inhale, arms high. And then exhale, settle. Take a few breaths here. Feel that right hip start to press forward. So left heel is pushing into the ground so you can pull your left hip back. And then the right heel is pressing the hip forward. Palms face the front, ball up the fist. Engage your shoulders and start to pull down with the elbows, lifting the chest. Keep the right hip tracking forward. Two more breaths here. Squeeze to the shoulder blades. Feel the chest expand. Then change. Inhale, bring the arms high. Palms touch, hands in a heart center. And then we'll take our crescent twist. Right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Now gentle into this twist. We're still early on into our practice. Hands pressing into one another, trying to stack your elbows. And feel your left hip pulling back, right hip is moving forward. Two more breaths. Now engage as we release. So engaging the torso, both arms lift high. And then Ardha Hanuman half split. Straighten the front leg, hands framing this left foot. First few rounds of breath again, just to lengthen through this left leg. So dig your left heel into the mat. On the inhale, think about pulling your left hip back. And on the exhale, gently pushing that left hip down. We'll do that a couple more times before I twist. Feel that big length. All right, our twist, right hand plants. Pull your left hip back, so feel that engagement to your left leg, and then inhale, open up that left arm towards the ceiling. Try to keep that left hip tracking back. Two more breaths. Next exhale, left hand comes down to the mat, bending the left knee at the same time. Plant the hands, inhale, left leg lifts high, three-legged dog. And then we'll bend the knee, open up half scorpion. Continue on with the rounding through the knees, rounding through the ankle, whatever is feeling good for you. And left foot to the ground, downward dog. Big breath in. Exhale. Inhale, hinge forward, high plank. Rolling forward, hold for the exhale. Knees can be up or down at this point. If you want to find some movement to work on the wrist a little bit more, a little shake side to side. Two more breaths. Pressing into the hands, open to the upper back. Breath in. Downward dog, exhale. Inhale, hinge forward, high plank. Hold for the exhale. We're going to go through a modified chaturanga. So we'll bring the knees to the mat. Elbows hug in next to the ribs. Take a breath. And on the exhale, slowly lower chin and chest all the way down to the mat. 
Untuck the toes, hands underneath the shoulders, low cobra on the inhale, lift up. And on the exhale, let the chest come back down. Tuck the toes, press back up through your hands and knees. And downward dog on the exhale. Breath in. Breath out. All right, next inhale, hinge forward, high plank. So pausing here in your high plank, pressing hands into the mat, feel the shoulders opening up. Now this time option for a full chaturanga. Modify if you need to, drop the knees to the mat. On the inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, lower halfway down. Elbow still squeezing in, holding here. Inhale, upper dog, thighs are off the mat. You can also take your low cobra from here. Draw the shoulder blades down, take a breath. Downward dog, exhale. Nice job, big breath in. Exhale. Feet step together. Inhale, right leg lifts high. And on the exhale, knee to nose. Pull that knee into your chest. Press through the hands, come up high into your back tippy toes. Start to flex your right toes. Slowly step between the hands. Crescent lunge. All the way up, left knee is high. Finding our high lunge pose. Nice, take some time here. First time we're in a, in a full lunge. So we want our right knee stacked on top of the ankle. And then pressing through the ball of your back foot, feel that left hip push forward and pull your right hip back. Pinky fingers rotate in towards each other. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. Try to keep your right toes really light. Now keeping the arms extended above the head, hinge the body forward, fierce crescent. Now as we extend forward, pull your right hip back. Try to draw your shoulder blades down your back, and then lift your biceps by your ears. Keep pressing firmly through that back foot. Two more breaths. Lean forward, lift the biceps. Breath in. Arm sweep back on the exhale. Gazes forward. Start to pull the chest forward. Moving into chair pose. Next inhale, left foot meets the right. Feet meet, knees are together. Arms lift high and settle in. Try to keep the toes light. A lot of weight in the balls of feet and the heels. If the knees don't feel good together, you can separate them just slightly. Feel it out. Two more breaths. Sink a little deeper. Press into the balls of feet. Inhale, stand up. And we'll take a big standing back bend on the exhale. You can ball the fist. You can keep them open. Your choice. Lots of activeness in the upper back. Glutes engaged. Hips are pressing forward. Then change, inhale, rise up. Palms meet and we'll fold on the exhale. You'll take a halfway lift on the inhale. And you're a chaturanga. Floating back, getting back however you need to. Meeting back in your downward dog. Breath in. Exhale. Right, feet together. Inhale, left leg lifts. So feel that extension in your, in your three-legged dog. And on the exhale, knee to nose, holding here. Press into the hands. Flex your toes. Start to bring your left foot forward. See if you can hover it. Then set it down, crescent lunge. Inhale, lifts. And exhale, we settle. So feel that stability in your hips. The right hip is pressing forward now. Try to keep your left toes light. Draw the shoulder blades down your back. Be in touch with your breath. Nice. Right, so keep that depth in your front knee. Biceps by the ear. Start to hinge the body forward. Fierce crescent. Now, left hip wants to push forward. Push it back. All right. Engage through the right leg. Keep that right hip pressing forward. Lift your biceps. Draw the shoulder blades together. Two more breaths here. Lift the biceps. Pull that left hip back. Breath in. Arms back on the exhale. Feel that lift of the chest. Nice. Next inhale, chair pose. Both feet meet at the top of the mat. Arms lift and we settle in. Pinky fingers rotate in. Soften into your chair, but very active. Sink down. Try to take the weight out of the toes. Two more breaths. Next inhale, standing up. Finding your back bend on the exhale. About three breaths. 
we used to the shoulder blades. Arms could be long or short. One more breath. Then change. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Moving through your vinyasa. However you need to get back. Upper dog, low cobra. And downward dog in the exhale. Nice big breath in. Exhale. All right, feet together. Inhale, right leg high. And exhale, knee to right elbow. Pause here. Now touching that right elbow, put some weight into it at first. And then try to pull the knee away from the elbow and hang out here. Press your hands into the mat. Just barely almost touching the, the elbow, not quite. Two more breaths. Press into the hand, squeeze your fingertips, lift your knee a little higher. Nice inhale, three-legged dog. And then crescent lunge on the exhale. Stepping through. And we slowly rise and settle. Now from your strong crescent lunge, bring the elbows down. Right line with the shoulders. And then pressing forward through your left hip, I'm going to draw the right elbow back, right shoulder back, and reach the left arm forward. So taking this closed twist here. Left arm forward, right arm back. Right hand is going to reach back and grab your left thigh, exalted crescent. So taking this twist into a back bend. Be with your breath. Sink deep into your hips. Left arm reaching up. On the inhales and on the exhales, right shoulders coming back and taking you into your back bend. Two more breaths. Stay deep in your front knee. And on your next exhale, left hand comes down to the mat. We'll take a gentle twist, right arm high. So still staying in your lunge legs. Left hand to the mat, right arm reaches high. Find your breath. I'll start to draw your right shoulder blade towards your spine, opening the chest. And we'll move to side plank. Come to the knife edge of your left foot and draw your right foot back on top of your left. Take as many steps as you need to get there. And start to lift through the right leg. Take your variation. Stay active in your bottom arm. Two more breaths. Now start to hug your right knee into your chest. Gonna bring that right foot forward, back into our low lunge legs, land as lightly as you can. Drop your back heel, open up warrior two. So first time in our warrior two, feel that left hip start to open up, engaging through your left glute to pull your left hip back, sink deep into your front knee. Gaze over your front fingertips, lighten up your front toes. Reverse your warrior, flip the front palm, inhale. And try to keep deep in your front knee. Stay open in this right side. You can half bind with your left hand or let it draw down your back, back thigh. Be with the pose. Breath in. Side angle, exhale. Right arm down, left arm high. Now expand through the chest. Sink deep into your front knee. Extend it. Left arm starts to hug the left ear. Reach to the front of the room. Maybe start to extend the right arm. And then we'll open the chest. So squeeze your left shoulder blade and start to roll the chest open. Push firm through the back heel. Two more breaths. Deep in the front knee. Inhale, reverse. Hold for the exhale. Big opening. Breath in. Your chaturanga. Hands down to the mat. Move through your vinyasa. Upper dog or low cobra, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Nice, take your breath. Exhale. High feet together. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Now pushing in first. Make that connection. Strong into your hands. And then draw your left knee away from your elbow about a millimeter. 
Keep it driving towards it, but away from it. It's like two opposite sides of the magnet. Two same sides of the magnet. Two more breaths. Beautiful. Inhale, left leg high. Crescent lunge, exhale, slowly stepping through. Inhale, we rise. And exhale, settle. Nice, find that strong base. And then we'll bend our elbows and find that same closed twist. Right hip pressing forward this time, left shoulder back. So feel the twist, open up the arms. A few breaths here. And then our left hand's gonna grab for the back right thigh. Right arm starts to reach up and back, turning this twist into our back bend. Exalted, crescent. Gaze up or down. Stay deep in your front knee. About 10 more seconds here. Keep that left shoulder tracking back. Next exhale, gentle twist. Right hand comes down to the mat. Plant the right hand, lift the left arm towards the ceiling. Now feel the expansiveness in the chest, maybe opening the heart. A couple more breaths here. Press firmly through that bottom hand. And then our side plank. Come to the knife edge of your right foot. Left foot can step back. Take as many steps as you need to. Drop the bottom knee if you need that stability. And then we'll play around here. Find your biggest expression. Two more breaths. Left knee into the chest. Then we'll come back into our crescent lunge legs. Drop the back heel and open up into our warrior two. Adjust your stance once you land. Some of those transitions we don't always land perfectly. So just as you need to. Expand through the chest, sink deep into your front knee. Engage your right glute to pull your right hip back. Now keeping that base, flip the front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. Stay deep in your front knee. Right hand can start to draw down your back thigh. Maybe taking that half bind if you took it on the other side. Expand through this left side, inhale. Side angle, exhale. We're coming into our traditional side angle. Expand through the chest. And then if you extend it, right arm hugs the right ear, extending forward. And then maybe extend that left arm forward as well. If both arms are extended, engage your right shoulder to pull your right chest open. Firm through the back heel. Two more breaths. Inhale, reverse. Holding here for the exhale. Big breath in. And your vinyasa. Hands down to the mat. Flow with your breath. Downward dog on the exhale. Nice job. Take three breaths here. Find a little movement side to side. One more breath. All right. Let's lift the heels, bend the knees. Exhale, step or jump to the front. Landing as lightly as you can. Halfway lift. And fold, exhale. All right, let's separate the feet about hip distance apart. We'll take a version of a forward fold here. So depending on how tight your hamstrings are, you can bend the knees a little bit. And then we're going to walk the hands about a foot in front of the feet. Now pressing into the fingertips. Knees bent or straight. Start to lift the hips, lift the tailbone, flare the sits bones. Then see if you can press into your heels a little more. <laughs> Fingertips are still pressing in the mat, pressing the body weight back. Feel the lift in the hips. Feel the weight into your heels. You can straighten the legs a little more if you want to. One more breath. All right, and then walk the hands back in towards the toes. Keep the feet hip distance apart. Take a half lift inhale. And fold, exhale. All right, inhale, arms up, hips down, wide-legged chair. So keeping the feet hip distance apart, lift the arms above the head, sink deep into your hips. 
try not to let the knees go below or the hips go below the knees. I want to stay active in the quads and the hamstrings and the glutes. So pressing firmly into the balls of the feet. Two more breaths, sink a little deeper. Nice inhale, stand all the way up. And now take our back bend on the exhale. It's about three breaths here. Squeezing to the shoulder blades, a little tuck of the hips if there's any tension in the lower back. Inhale brings us up. Hands in a heart center, step the feet together. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, hands in a heart. All right, inhale, lift your left knee into your chest. One legged Tadasana. Find some balance here. Lift your left toes towards your kneecap. Press through that right heel, lengthen through the body. Airplane on the exhale. Left leg sweeps back. Start with the straight right leg. Push your left hip down. Reach the fingertips back. And then we'll take a little bend to that right knee. Now with that bend, see if you can lift the chest more. A little more of a back bend. Press through that back ball of the foot. Two more breaths. See if you can bend that right knee a little deeper. One more breath. And then slowly start to land that back foot. Crescent lunge, arms high. And settle. Beautiful. Strong in your crescent lunge legs. Let's bring our hands to our hips. Straighten the front leg. Drop the back heel and shorten your stance. We'll take a revolve triangle pose. Bring your right hand to your right hip crease. Let that right hand pull your right hip back. Left arm extends above the head. Now with that right hip pulling back, left arm pulls you forward. And then we'll take that left hand to the top of your right foot. Keeping your right hand on your right hip, pulling that right hip back. So kind of rolling the right hip back. Try to keep the right shoulder open. Now if that's feeling okay, maybe start to lift the right arm towards the ceiling. Do your full revolve triangle pose. Keep your right hip pulling back. Keep pressing through the, the heel of your left foot to push your left hip forward. Right hand comes back to your right hip. Start to walk your left fingers a little farther forward. Pushing through the left fingertips, push your right hip back. So feel that bigger stretch in the right hamstring. And then little bend of the right leg, start to shift the weight forward. Revolved half moon. Keep the left fingers on the mat, lift your left toes. And then engage your core, lift your left fingers. Right hand can stay on your hip as long as you need to, or when you're ready, lift your right leg, arm towards the ceiling. Ooh, find your balance. It's not always there. <laughs> Two more breaths. Keep this big twist, press through the heel of the right foot. Next inhale, airplane pose. Big transition up, feel that right hip engage as you open up. Nice. Big openness in the chest. One more inhale. And standing splits on the exhale. Both hands come down towards the mat. Left leg is still engaged and lifted. Now from here, standing splits. Keep your left leg engaged. You can uh, deepen this pose by wrapping your right hand around your right calf. Or if you have handstand practice, hands press in the mat and move into your handstands. About three or four hops. Whatever feels good for you. Two more breaths. Inversion, see if you can come back down into your standing splits first. Keeping that left leg lifted, breath in. And then feet together, exhale. Both hands to the mat, pedal the feet left and right. Maybe a little sway of the hips. Stay with your breath. All right, now pause. Let's separate those feet again. Going to take a, another version of that nice forward fold we just took. So knees bent or legs straight as you can get them. Walk both hands about a foot in front of the feet. Then pressing into the heels, flare the sits bones. Press in the fingertips and see if you can open up and lengthen the hamstrings a little bit more. All right, now if that feels okay, lift the whole foot of the right foot. All right, you might need to walk the fingers in a little closer. Then lift your entire left foot so you're just on your heels now. All 10 fingers still pressing into the mat. Big opening to the hamstrings. Now one hand at a time, 
right hand slides underneath the right foot for a gorilla pose. And then left hand slides underneath the left foot for your gorilla pose. So now we're really opening the hamstrings. Take a few breaths. Find a little movement. One more big full breath. All right, pause and center. Let's release one hand at a time. So heel those feet back together. Halfway lift. Fold, exhale. Soften the knees, inhale, arm sweep high. Palm touch, we'll take another big standing back bend on the exhale. Ooh, find your balance. Squeeze your shoulder blades, push the hips forward. And then change, inhale, rise. Hands in a heart center. Inhale, arm sweep. And exhale, hands in a heart. Right, we got one more side, left leg stays, right knee lifts. So that one legged Tadasana, take a breath. Find your balance on the exhale. Dekasana airplane. Right leg sweeps back with the arms. Full extension, left leg straight, right leg straight. And then maybe bend that left knee a little bit. See if you can lift the chest more. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Push to the ball that back foot. Lengthen your right leg. One more breath. And then gently bend the left leg. Land the right foot. Crescent lunge. Arms high. And then we settle. It's a good, strong crescent lunge stance first. And then hands to your hips. Straighten your front leg. Drop your back heel and shorten your stance. Left hand into your left hip crease this time. So that's going to pull your left hip back. Right arm reaches high. Revolve triangle. Left hip back. Right arm long. Start to let that right arm pull you forward. And then let your right hand rest on top of your left foot. Left hand can still be on that left hip. So rolling the left hip back. Feeling the length in this entire left leg. Start to open your left shoulder. And then maybe lift the left arm. Left fingertips are reaching up as the right fingertips are pressing down. Left hip is rolling back. A couple more breaths here. Full expansion. And then for me, I like to bring my left hand to my left hip first. Little bend of the left knee, right fingertips farther in front of your left toes. Transfer the weight from the back leg to the front leg and find our way into our revolved triangle pose. So building this from the ground up, having a lot of core engagement. Once you're feeling stable, maybe lift that left arm towards the ceiling. Now reaching in all different directions here. Every limb is reaching somewhere different. Two more breaths. Now start to think about engaging your left glute as you lift up into your airplane pose. Squeeze the limbs back. Roll the chest forward. Draw the shoulder blades down your back. Two more breaths. And then your next exhale, we find our standing splits. Slowly bringing the hands to the mat. Take a couple breaths here. Feel that right leg engage and lift. And then choose your journey here. If you deepened your pose by wrapping your left hand around your left calf, or if you went into your handstand hops, say about 10 seconds, whichever version you're going into. Try to find something challenging for you, whatever that is today. It's very different from day to day. Inversions. So you can come back to your standing splits first. Left toes plant, right leg lifts, take your breath. And everybody forward fold on the exhale. Halfway lift, exhale fold. Separate the feet hip distance apart. We'll take our second set of active chair. So on the inhale, arms up, hips down, knees hip distance apart, and sink down to the hips. Nice and deep. Don't break the plane of the knees. And bring our hands in a heart center. From here, lift your heels one at a time or both at the same time and then sink down deeper. 
the heels lifted, arms extend forward, palms forward, fingers spread out wide. Then slowly hinge the body forward, moving this into Bakasana Crow Pose. Hands laying on the mat, shoulder width apart, knees into your triceps, and then we'll slowly move into your Bakasana. Now taking the version that feels best for you, if these Bakasanas don't feel good, you can take your wide-legged squat, feet hip distance, maybe a little bit wider, and hands on a heart center. So wherever version you're taking, about 10 or 15 more seconds. Play around. Be playful with your practice. Don't be afraid to fall. Especially in crow, it's not that long of a journey to the ground. And crows, if you practice shooting back, go right ahead. On your next exhale, shoot the legs back. Everybody move to your version of your vinyasa. And meeting back in your downward dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. All right, feet together. Inhale, right leg high. And exhale, half pigeon. Step your right knee behind your right foot or right hand. Extend your left leg long behind you. Then we're going to stay upright for a little bit here. So pressing all 10 fingers into the mat. Both arms are long. And then we try to settle into the hips. So feel that left hip start to rotate forward and the right hip start to rotate back. So just like a big screw top. Nice and strong through the chest. So with the hands long and the arms long like this, you have a little bit more ability to stabilize your hips. Now if you want to stay up, stay up. If you want to come down, maybe to the elbows, whatever version feels best. If you like the version of a uh, lizard pose we took earlier where we extended the arms, that might feel really nice in this pose as well. It's about five more breaths here. One more breath. All right, wherever you're at, walk yourself back in. And just sit back on your right hip. We're going to keep that left leg long. And then move our right foot to the inside of our left thigh. And take a Johnny Shirasana. And square your torso over this left leg. Both arms reach high on the inhale. And then extending and folding over on the exhale. And settle in. Find more length if you want to. You don't need to grab onto anything if that's not in your practice. Find some breath. And if you're getting pretty parallel with the body over this left leg, try to push your right shoulder down. Maybe squeeze your elbows towards this extended leg. Couple more breaths. All right, now as we change, we're going to lead with the right hand. Right hand lifts and plants by our right hip. We're going to lift up into dancing tabletop. So your right knee stays down, your left leg stays extended. Take a big front side body opener. On your exhale, your left hand comes down to the mat. Curl your left toes, three-legged dog, right leg high. And downward dog on the exhale. Nice, right, so one more side, feet together, left leg lifts. Stepping into that half pigeon on the exhale, left knee behind left hand, right leg extends forward. And then we'll start with our arms long, just like the other side. So a good 30 seconds or so with the arms extended. Ability to move around to the hips a little bit more. But if this doesn't uh, feel good, this version doesn't feel good for you, just honor your practice, take whatever feels right. Feel that stability in your hips. Left hip back, right hip forward this time. Long spine. It's 
about three more breaths before we come down into our elbows. All right, now one elbow at a time, make that journey down. And then moving into the, the same version you did on the other side. So maybe the extended arms version felt good for you. Maybe that was you cursing me in my head or in your head. <laughs> so <laughs> go whatever feels good for you. I think about maybe five to seven more breaths here. time press yourself back up I'm just gonna sit back on our left hip this time right leg stays extended we'll move into our Johnny Shrasana slide your left foot to the inside of your right thigh arms lift on the inhale and then folding on your exhale your version of this pose take a few breaths here just settle into it at first and then if you want to add intensity or release intensity it's all up to you but this time, if your body's coming pretty parallel over this extended leg, drop your left shoulder in to square your shoulders, and then squeeze those elbows in next to your extended leg. A few more breaths. One more breath. Now as we release, we're gonna lead with our left hand. Left hand plants just outside of your left hip, dancing tabletop, come up to your left knee and your right foot. Expand through the chest, reach that free arm up and back. And on your next exhale, right hand comes down to the mat. Curl those right toes, three-legged dog, left leg high. And downward dog on the exhale. Big breath in. Exhale. All right, we're going to make our way into our backs. If you like to lift the heels, bend the knees, if you want to jump through, you can, or come right down to your legs. Sweep it through. And grab your knees and come on to your backs. Beautiful work today. Rock a little side to side. Knees into the chest. If you want to make some circles with the knees, you can. All right, then pause here in center. Say V pre Karani, legs up the wall pose. And this could be the start of your journey. This could be where you're staying. If you want to stay here, stay. If you want to move into your plow pose, hands come back, support your lower back, lift the legs, and then start to lift the feet up and over the head. So we did quite a bit of back bends today. Not a lot of intense back bends, but still enough. So this might feel really nice for the lower back. Now for me, I like to hang out here. If there's a journey that you'd like to take, maybe shoulder stance, hands into your lower back, lift the legs towards the ceiling. A few more breaths. And then gently release all the way down into your happy baby. Lower back hits the mat, grab the soles of the feet, knees either side of the torso. Then we'll just rock side to side for a few breaths. Keep active pressure pulling down and also counter pressure pushing up with the heels. All right, pause your movement, bring both knees into the chest, squeeze your legs, squeeze your knees. And then extend both arms out wide. I want to end with a gentle twist. So I like to pick my hips up and shift my hips to my right, just about an inch, and then drop both knees to the left. 
so it helps the, the spine stay in alignment whenever you drop the knees to side or side. Just a shift of the hips to the opposite side first. And feel this nice twist. So realign our spine. Be heavy with the torso. Two more breaths. And a slight engagement to the core, bring the knees back to center. Square the spine up, squeeze the knees, take a breath. And if you're holding out of the knees, release the knees, but keep them into the chest. Shift your hips to the left about an inch, then drop both knees to the right. Find your breath. One more cycle of breath. And then with that slight engagement to the core, bring the knees back to center. Squeeze the knees into the chest. Take your breath. And then grab the back of the thighs. Rock up to a seat. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. This beautiful, gorgeous day outside. Strong practice, strong balancing. And take this throughout your day. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.